Hello guys, ancient gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco. Oh, GVG more! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. As for this video, we're gonna test Black Myth Wukong because Black Myth Wukong got an FSR4 update. And even though it is FSR4, somehow they just didn't use the, the latest files for FSR4. As you can see, it is just the file AMD Fidelity FX underscore DX12. So they kind of modded the file, put FSR4 there, but it is still not your the original file. I mean, the original file should be something like this. So with a Fidelity FX DX12 loader, then the upscaler, then the frame generation separated, like the first game with FSR4 has, which is Dying Light the Beast. It has the three files, something that doesn't happen here. So there will be some changes and some different things because of that. But as you can see inside the game, the file is still AMD Fidelity FX underscore DX12. But again, kind of a modded file. Don't really know why, but it is what it is. So for this test, I'll be using lower tier cards. In this case, I'm using the 9060 XT and I'll be using the 7700 XT as well, using the FSR4 Int 8 model. And as you can see, we have around, um, we have around 90 something FPS and we're running 4K, which of course isn't the ideal scenario for the 9060 XT. And that's exactly why we're using FSR3 at 50%, which is basically FSR3 performance mode. As soon as I start attacking, look at the heat huge amount of ghosting that that I have here so moving the weapon the ghosting is so pronounced it is actually insane so huge amount of ghosting there let's do a slow motion here So huge amount of ghosting as you can see, and if we go and we enable frame generation, um, now we only now we do have the option to basically use anti-lag too as well. So as you can see here, low, low latency mode. But the thing is that frame generation and low, la low latency mode, sorry, now they just have the off mode and the enabled mode. And by the way, I was running frame generation before, sorry. Uh, that's why we have such high FPS. But even with um, even without frame generation, as you can see, yeah, we still have a huge amount of artifacts, a huge amount of ghosting, pixelation. Yeah, it's just not good at all. Going back to the low latency mode and frame generation, you now don't really have the on option, you just have the auto. So when you enable low, lat low latency mode, if you are using FSR, it will enable um, anti lag 2, which is something that wasn't in the game before, I believe. If you enable XSS, it will enable Intel XLL. And if you enable uh, NVIDIA DLSS, it will enable NVIDIA Reflex. Now, as soon as I go here, uh, it doesn't actually give me the option to use FSR4 odd. I guess I'll just verify the integrity of the files to see if we have some corrupted files because I tried the intake uh, FSR4 before and it worked, maybe. I'll just try again, I guess. So it seems that it's finally working now. It wasn't before, but it now is. And now we have the option to go with FSR3 and FSR4. But since the FSR3 and FSR4 are in same, inside that same DLL file, it might have to do something with that because it's a modified version. You need to restart the game to, for the changes to do some effect. So let's press apply and let's restart it. And now we're running FSR4 and we're running around the same FPS, a bit lower, I would say like three to four FPS lower, which is not that much. And again, this card is not meant to run at 4K, even with upscaling, but Immediately as I look in the screen, I can see that the image has much, much higher quality. So the fidelity of the image, the sharpness, the, um, especially the, um, the clarity of the picture is just much, much higher quality. I, I mean, looking at, the, um, looking at the armor, I can see that the, that the armor has way more details and the game overall just looks much better. Now, let's just start and do the same movements that we did before, now with FSR4. Oh, my bad. So, 
Yep. Remember all that ghosting that we had before, it is basically non-existent here. And we are running low FPS because if you, if you run high FPS numbers with a high pixel refresh ratio, it will run better. So running 50 FPS and still we are attacking and not only it delivers higher quality, but also delivers way better clarity and overall, again, no ghosting whatsoever. With FSR 3, we have higher FPS, but at the same time, the quality was like subpar, really, really way lower compared to what we have here with FSR 4. That at performance mode works great here. Even if you don't, or if you can't really notice it on video, I can tell you immediately that the difference in terms of clarity and quality overall is just insane. FSR 4 even on the performance mode looks much clearer, much better quality and I mean it just looks, if you look at this, it just looks like for what 4K should look or really close to what 4K should look while with FSR 3 it was kind of a blurry ghosting mess but yeah it works so right out of the box it does work. Bam! Chill out, bro. <laughs> so yeah, it's not even a, a real comparison, I would say. It's not even a battle, it's a massacre. FSR 4 is many, many times better. And it is working here with a 9060XT for sure. And it, I mean, the quality is just, just awesome. I'm playing on a 27 inches 4K monitor. And believe me, I could immediately notice the difference when we went from FSR 3 to FSR 4. I mean especially standing still with the fire particles on the weapon of course you can see them right here they're basically perfect and if you look at the armor as well the clarity and the detail is just much much better it's it's quite great actually i believe that we have fsr 4.0.2 here but i can't really know because of course uh the game uses a, a modified version now let's try with a frame generation because again, I believe that frame generation was updated to FSR 3.1.4 or maybe FSR 3.1.5, who knows? Now let's enable anti-lag 2 as well. And now we went up to 83 FPS. And now, of course, this is frame generation, but the better the upscaling is, the better the frame generation will work. And remember, we are going from like 50 to 93 and uh, the higher the amount of FPS that you have, the better the frame generation will work. And I can tell you right away that even with such low FPS, frame generation is working quite decently. Because again, the upscaler is so, so good that the frame generation quality has also improved. And I mean, you, you went from like 50 to 80 and in terms of smoothness, the difference is definitely there. So even if we move like this, or if we do some attacks where frame generation has a tougher time still has great quality basically no ghosting no issues whatsoever so yeah since we now have fsr4 the frame generation has also improved quite a lot which is awesome to be honest so yeah great improvement here so now we're running the RX 7700 XT and as you know it doesn't support fsr4 officially since fsr4 runs with fp8 models things that the, the 7700 XT and the 7000 series and so on don't support. They don't support FP8, only FP16. So we either have it emulated like Linux does, or we use the Int8 model. If you don't really know how to install the Int8 model, I have a full tutorial on my channel, but for now I'll do it in a really, really fast way. Uh, so I just go here to the file, to the Steam folder, then I go to Steam Apps, Common, Black Myth Wukong, B1, Binaries, Win64. Here are the files. Then what I have to do is just go to the file here, dll.old. Then I go, I copy the normal FSR files here. Bam. And then I overwrite the upscaler or overwrite the upscaler with the int8 model. So again, I go here, replace. Then as soon as we go into the game, FSR 4 should be available. So now we're running the game and we're running with the 7700 XT and of course the FPS are lower because not only the quality is lowered with the Int8 model of FSR 4 because Integer doesn't really work as well as floating point in terms of image quality and that's, well, it can always improve of course the same way for FP8 or Int8 but yeah, it looks pretty damn good. 
I mean, it looks much, much better than FSR 3 ever looked, and it looks pretty good, I won't lie, but of course, in terms of quality impact, um, I mean, performance impact in terms of performance impact compared to FSR 3 on older cards, yeah, the performance impact is, is quite big, and of course, the, the image quality isn't as good as the original FSR 4. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm just going to show you again the graphic settings, FSR 4, and we're not using frame generation, FSR 4 uh, performance at 4K. Just for you to confirm, 4K, as you can see, and of course, it is an RX 7700 XT, and RDNA 3 already doesn't work very well here in this game, Black Myth Wukong, and now that we are running FSR 4 int 8 model, it gets even worse. But well, let's see the quality, let's for example go and see if we have any kind of ghosting, nope, even with the int 8 model, which is again inferior, visually inferior to the FP8 model that the RX 9000 series use, you can see we have no ghosting whatsoever, while we were full of ghosting when using FSR3. So FSR3 was a complete mess, and even with the RX 7000 series, FSR just works much better, FSR4. Again, bam. No issues whatsoever, just works and looks great. With the only downside being definitely the performance impact, but again, you can't have it all. Now, what you can do is, since FSR4 is much, much better in terms of quality, you can try and decrease it a bit, like push it a bit. So let's try to push it to 40% instead of 50%. And at 40%, it still looks quite decent. I mean, it still looks quite decent, we have 45 FPS and it still looks quite decent. Not as good, but decent. But again, 44 FPS, let's see what we have with the 50%. Just to see if we have any meaningful difference. So, yeah, we gained like two FPS or maybe nothing. So it's not really relevant in this game. Well, I believe that uh, the bottleneck must be in I mean, resolution, the card itself, I mean, it is what it is, it just won't go past this. So, what you can do in this case scenario is, again, just use frame generation. Let's go to frame generation, let's enable it, and let's see what we can get from this. We can get around 70 FPS, in this case scenario 60, so it's quite low, and in this case scenario I can see some ghosting because the base frames are quite lower, but again, it's still pretty acceptable. I mean, much, much better than, than FSR 3 upscaling. So, frame generation with FSR 4 upscaling at 70 FPS, which means that the base frames are really, really low, usually half. And even in this case scenario, it does a better job than FSR 3 alone, because FSR 3 alone has lots of ghosting, pixelation, while again, FSR 4, even when going to this part, which means that we are having around, I would say, like 30-something FPS, 38, 39 FPS um, base, it still does a very good job, frame generation still does a very good job, because again, we are using FSR4 as an upscaler, because if we were using FSR3, it would just um, make it worse, it would ju just make the image of FSR3 even worse, so yeah. Frame generation does decently well here. We still have some halos around the character, but it is what it is. And just to finish the video, by the way, if you're using vertical sync, don't use, even though you can, don't use vertical sync with frame generation en enabled, because as soon as you use vertical sync with frame generation enabled, things will kind of bug and you'll have lots of momentary shimmering. So let me just show you. We will enable frame generation. Uh, we will enable vSync, sorry. And as soon as I enable VSync, at least this happened with the 9060XT. Maybe since we're using the Int 8 version, this doesn't really happen, but it happened with the FP8 version, so the official FSR4 implementation. As soon as I started moving, yeah, we still have some artifacts there. So when I stop, for example, we have kind of a bit of a stutter or we have um, a bit of shimmering and then it kind of stabilizes. Yeah, as seen here. Yeah, saw that? That's what basically happened. With FP8, with the normal mode, it's even worse. 
Yep, again, so it is not advisable to use VSync with frame generation in this title. But besides that, everything works great. You can use FSR4 here, the int 8 or the official version. Of course, the official version will work much better, but I mean, it's doable. You can do it, it works well, and the image quality is a huge upgrade, really, a huge upgrade. Not even, I mean, it's, it's so insane going from FSR3 to FSR4 in this game that the experience is completely transformed. For example, even with the int 8 model, look at the clarity that we have here. I mean, it doesn't even seem that we are going from 1080p upscaling to 4K. It just looks very, very good, really. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. This was just a simple video of me testing uh, both the 9060 XT and the 7700 XT with FSR4, FP8 and Int8 models in Black Myth Wukong, which to my knowledge, is the second game to feature FSR4 officially inside the game. So you don't really need to have the drivers to inject FSR4 into the game. It is just there. You go into the game, FSR4 is there, even if the drivers don't support it. Because in this case scenario, the drivers don't. And the drivers don't support it because of what I told you in the beginning of the video. That file that we have there is modified. So if the file is modified, the adrenaline settings won't be able to see that file in order to inject FSR4. But yeah, it is working. I believe that's, that's what matters the most. Thank you very much and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. I'm <laughs>